In this video, I want to show you how I spin from the fold. Spinning from the fold is a great way to get a light and airy yarn. You can also use the technique to spin staple by staple or a fine fleece with long staple length. To spin from the fold, you place a staple length portion of the fibre over your finger. To join, I simply place the spun end over the folded new staple and allow the fibre to get caught in the twist. You then spin from the middle of the staple length so that the fibres are folded when they enter the drafting zone. This does two things. Since the fibre comes into the drafting triangle from each side of your finger, the drafting triangle will be wider compared to spinning from the end of the fibre. This will let more air into the yarn. The folded fibres drive towards unfolding. This too will let more air into the yarn. A yarn spun from the fold will thus be lighter and airier than the same yarn spun with the same grist from the ends of the fibres. You can choose to either keep the fibre over your finger or remove your finger and just hold the folded fibre in your hand. Spinning from the fold is not a drafting technique, rather it's simply a different way to hold the fibre. You can spin both woolen and worsted from the fold. You can spin from the fold with any spinning tool. Make sure you pull out a staple length only. If you pull out more than a staple length, some fibers will be spun from the middle and some from the end. This will create a mess. You also need to make sure you tuck in the ends into your hand when you spin. If you don't, there is a risk that they get caught in the yarn. This will create a bigger mess. Still, you need to hold the fibre gently, like a baby bird, still tucking the ends into the hand. If you hold on to the fibres too tightly, they won't be released into the twist. 